Hey there, folks. My name is Dazer, and welcome to the park. Uh, I'm going to be doing a special video about just this game. I uh, think I'm just going to record it all in one go, and because I know it's a short game. Most people are doing it in two videos, so I think I'll just do it in one. But uh, happy Halloween. This is going to be a special Halloween video, so new game. Let's do this. Park is a narrative experience, best played in a dark room wearing headphones. It deals with subject matter that may be disturbing to some players. During the course of play, the park may manipulate graphics, audio, control, settings, and your sanity. This is perfectly normal and should not be any cause for alarm or psych psychiatry? Okay. Interesting. So we're going to have some fourth wall breaking stuff. That's cool. I always like that stuff. Okay. Uh, but fair warning i'm recording this with fraps and there's actually a warning that comes up before you start the game that says fraps may cause the game to crash so we're gonna see i would use x split but i i use that for recording my webcam and i don't know i, I don't like having it all in one file so i'm gonna give it a shot with fraps if it becomes a problem i'll just re-record it with x split or something mind, i always return to atlantic island park oh shoot we need subtitles. Please tell me there's not going to be a whole lot of... Ah, uh, there's going to be some stuff here. Sorry! Where's Mr. Bear? I haven't seen Mr. Bear, Callum. Mr. Bear. Is this the 90s? Stay in the car. I'll go and ask information. Okay. Oh, okay, okay, so I'm in the game. Let me uh, turn on subtitles here. Whoops, nope, that, that, I forgot to apply them. Subtitles, apply, thank you. Okay, now we can continue. So, this looks nice. This doesn't look too bad. Atlantic Island Park, bingo. No! I, I have to ask a question. Press to interact with objects in the world. Examine the plaque. Sure. Callum was born the day this place opened. This is his favorite place in the a world. A tribute to the untamed heart of Solomon Island and the people who use their talent to bring the dream of Nathaniel Winter to life. May this park be a place where joy and laughter are gathered and used to infect all of those who follow after. Dedicated this first day of May 1977. Hello? Ah. Excuse me. Oh, okay. It went black and I was like, ah, oh, the game crashed, damn. Lady? Um, are you okay? Hey, Lorraine. 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 This is Back Don't to the Future? Yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Take a what? deep breath. Think about the last place you saw your son's teddy bear. Hey, stop! Oh, did he just run in? I think your boy just ran into the park. I'll unlock the gates for you. Of course he did. Callum, I told you to wait in the car. This way. Read flyer. That's interesting. Wait up there for mommy, Callum. Come on this way. Hey, I see his... something special about the entrance to an amusement park. We're, we're not going to walk up this. between the real world and the world of whimsy within. I always walk up these things. Sight, the apathy of our everyday lives. An escalator, that's what they're called. Anything we might dare to dream. It's no wonder Callum ran back inside. I wouldn't want to leave either. If I you walk up to him, be like, "Hey, I'm I'm gonna da, da, ba, ba. Well, that can't be good. What? What? How does that make? S what? What just happened? I'm so confused. Wait for mommy, Callum. What happened? Oh God! The park. What happened? I am here? so confused right now. Okay, toggle running. Why would you toggle? I like holding down for run. Hang on, can I switch that? Because why on earth would you toggle run? 
No? Really? Really? Okay. Come to mommy, Callum. You can catch me. There you are. Yes, I can. I will call uh, that's creepy. Don't you dare run in there. Don't you dare run in there. Callum! Where did you go? Okay. Wait for mommy! There he is. There he is. Go after him. I'm coming, Callum. So I don't really know what I'm supposed to be doing here, other than obviously going to find him. Um, yeah, I have no idea what I'm supposed to be doing, so I'm just gonna kind of examine shoe. I think this belongs to Calm. Okay, we'll hold on to his shoe then. Chad the chipmunk, huh? Just a drunk guy in a suit. <laughs> Chad the chipmunk, worse than class. Chad can't even seem to pass. Chad gets angry, likes to fight. Chad is beaten every night. Chad will have a dead end job. Chad will die a useless slob. Okay. Come back, Callum. Over here. I wonder what this is. Purchase. Can I purchase the land on Solomon Island for a. I can't read that. Wait for mommy. What is that noise? Come on, mommy. I'm I'm on my way. Hello. Where'd you go? You go. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. Over here. Are you in here? Don't hide from me, Callum. Yep. Callum, stay where you are. Oh, he went on the ride. Is that him in there? I think it is. Okay, so... Oh, mommy. Yeah, 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 I'm on my way. Hang on. Oh. Can I get on? Can I, can I get on? Can I get on? Ride Swan. Okay, here we go. This ought to be interesting. Oh, I get to actually ride along. Oh, this is gonna be great. Callum. Where are you? Callum, come back. So is this just gonna be like kind of like a a haunted house experience kind of game? Is this kind of the the idea? Do I have a flashlight? No, I don't. Of course I don't. Who would want a flashlight in this kind of game, right? Flashlights don't make sense. <sighs> okay. Callum, where did you go? Okay, I shouldn't have said that. Nice little echo. Near a great forest, there lived a poor woodcutter, his wife and his two children. Why don't I see the wife? A boy named Hansel. Oh, and Hansel and Gretel. Named Gretel. Right. They were very poor and had very little to bite or sup. Okay. What will become of us? The wait, wait. Oh, okay. I was like, the audio, or the subtitles aren't changing. take the children into the thickest part of the forest tomorrow and abandon them there. No, my wife, I cannot do that, said the man. Then we will all four starve, you fool. Okay. Hansel and Gretel oh. overheard their parents talking, and Gretel began to weep. That's not good. Do not fret, Gretel, Hansel said. He crept out of the hut gathered white stones from the ground to fill his pockets. Okay. White stones from the ground to fill his pockets. I don't remember. The next morning, I don't remember all of this. <laughs> the children into the forest. Before they leave, their mother gives them a Oh, okay, and then bread, this is when they and warns oh, okay. them that they will get no more food that day. Hi. Clever Hansel leaves a trail of white stones behind them as they pass into the woods. When they're Hi, dude. Them, the children wait a while, then follow Who the are you? back to their parents' house. Okay. 
After receiving a thorough scolding, why was there? In the woods, the children are I'm so confused. Any supper. What is that guy? Why was he there? And collect more white stones, but found that the door was locked. Is he like the main so antagonist of this? Into the woods myself, the wife told the woodcutter. Okay, you can do that if you want. In the morning, their mother gave them a slice of bread and led them deep into the forest once again. What? What is it? What do you want from me? His bread into pieces and left a trail of breadcrumbs to lead them safely home. My heart is Under pounding right now, and I am breathing. And his trail was destroyed. I love how I had my hands on my like knees like the whole time. Just kind of like. Be -do -do -do. Sorry, I'm not trying to talk over this, but it's obviously not the focus of what's going on right now. Okay. Where is that dude? The children stumbled into a clearing with an exceedingly strange house. Uh huh. Its walls were made of. <laughs> now we're getting to the story that I know. Windows were panes of clear sugar. I don't remember that beginning part at all. I don't know if that's like the original story or what. Because obviously, like, it's it's really interesting if you read a lot of like uh, the. Well, you look like a witch. At my house. An old woman emerged from the house, sniffing the air. Oh, it's you. Uh, eyes. Your oh, eyes adjust. Oh, that's cool. Who brought you here? Your eyes adjust to Just where to you're focusing. Stay with me. That's cool. To you. That's that's but cool. Hansel and Gretel stayed back, for the old woman reminded them. Their cruel mother. Come, children, don't be afraid. But uh, what was I saying? Oh, if you read uh, or if you look into like the original stories of a lot of like kids stories, whoa, the children took like a fly in my apartment or something. You see nothing to fear here. But if you uh, you read like the original prints of some of rich uh, like stories like that they're way more morbid than you'll ever know once inside the house the old woman changed what what she what Hansel into a cage yeah 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 Gretel to work, yes we know and cleaning her heart. that's not what I'm worried about right now Your brother will make a good mouthful Told Gretel, that is not what I'm focused on at the moment. I shall feast upon him. Don't know where that bug went. F fly, whatever it was. No idea. Time passed, and poor Hansel refused to eat. Fearing Gonna have to go for like what an hour or so. <laughs> the witch, for her part, grew impatient. Today, I will cook and eat your brother, Gretel. Climb inside and light the oven. No! Gretel pretended <clears throat> not to understand. Uh, I do not know how. Where is the opening? Fool! The old witch said. The opening is here! Oh, yeah. She moved to show Gretel. Gretel. Seizing her courage, brave Gretel gave the witch a shove. And the old crone tumbled forward into And then they burned her. Slid a large iron bolt over the door to the oven. No! Gretel freed her brother Hansel, and together they lit a fire beneath the oven. And though she screamed and begged, the children sat by the oven until her screams had stilled, and the witch was cooked. That's so like just so morbid. And then because even children can't survive on sweets, they divided up the body of the old witch and ate her. <laughs> nice. Alrighty then, so that was fun. Who was that person, like in the, in the suit? Oh, hi. Okay. Uh. 
I did not like that part. Also, from what I hear, it's not there's not a whole lot of like jump scares in this, which is really good. It's just atmosphere building. I disappeared for a second. Okay. Well, that was fun. Callum, stay where you are. Uh. This way, Mom. Dude, kid, where are you? Hansel and Gretel. I used to read it to Callum when the electricity was shut off. Those poor children. The whole world against them. The forest, the birds, the old witch, even their own. I parents. don't remember that part. I used to imagine that Callum and I were the kids in that story. Not mother and son, but brother and sister, hand in hand against the unkind world. This has got a very we were um hungry, looking for our own house made of candy. Looking for the sweetness that could take the pain away. Hunger leads people to desperate, terrible places where the tree branches reach like claws. This kind of reminds me of Dear Esther, in a sense. Like, it has these moments of, like, narration. Come to Mommy, Callum. <laughs> okay, I'm going the right way. And the music. Another accident. This place. Oh, that teddy bear has like a knife in its eye. That's wonderful. Ugh. But uh, yeah, it reminds me kind of like Dear Esther, the way that like you walk and then you get a little more like narration and story. In this sense, it's like a horror version of it. Where are you, Callum? Okay. I think that was the little squirrel guy, whatever his name is. Ugh. Well, there's the Ferris wheel. Oh, boy. This is going to be fun, right? Oh, my. Oh, boy. Callum! This way. This way. Now you're turning into, like, a creepy little kid like Hansel and Gretel. Oh, boy. Well, I can tell this is going to be a fun ride. All right, so... I used to go on a ride similar to this. I remember something like this before when I was younger. No, it was a little different. There was one, I used to go to Cedar, when I used to go to Cedar, well, I still go to Cedar Point, but when this I went to Cedar Point. to make the blood run to my head. It'd make me dizzy. Um. The guy just snapped. I'm trying to arrive, Frank, kids. me and the boys, this fellow in chipmunk suit is making an ice carving while people looked photo took photographs. Lawrence wanted to go over him, but I was being a bit weary of those suits. They give me the creeps. It's silly, I know. Anyway, the chipmunk man, he was carving and picking away at the, the ice. First, what we thought was making some animal like a tiger or a lion, but as more and more fell away, you first looked, it was a human face smiling out of the block of ice. But the more you looked at it, the more you saw that there was something not quite right about the proportion, something unnatural. Music's getting weird. And the teenager walked up to one of them. Fa the face in the carving said something rude to the guy in the chipmunk suit. Then, well, he went berserk. For a few minutes, it was chaos. Everybody was running away from the guy who had one of the teachers on the ground. He was stab, stab, stabbing with the with the ice pick, and blood was spraying, and people were screaming. And Frank and I had the kids, and we were dragging them as fast as we could. And the last thing I saw before Frank dragged me away was that the eyeball of one of those poor kids had landed on the ice sculpture, making the horrible creature look more like more le more or less alive. Okay. Well, that's just lovely. That sounds like a creepy pasta. Come back. Catch me, Annie. I don't know if I want to now. Turn into a creepy little kid. Stop! Kill him! Oh, it looks like we gotta get on. I can't get on while it's moving. Okay. Well, then let's stop it. Decrease speed. Callum, 
Where'd you go? I just realized, like, if he was even on the ride, like, there's no need to even get on because I'm not seeing him. So do I even need to get on? Okay, I guess we'll get on and just see what happens. I, I think I what was it? I think it was Mr. Craven basically said, like, to just kind of take in the rides and not not worry about what the actual like story is. It's kind of like an interactive ride of sorts. So or, yeah, interactive Halloween or ha ugh, haunted house. Oh, that's creepy looking. Okay. Whoa! Who or what are you? Oh my goodness. What was that? What was that? What was that? It was creepy as fuck. What was it? What was that thing? Okay. Wait a minute. He was... He was there. I saw him. I saw him. I saw Callum! him. Where did you go? Oh, I remember this. What the? Oh, I remember this. Treachery hides in thoughts. That was weird. Treachery that lashes like a whip and scars our insides. The first time I saw Callum, my thoughts betrayed me. I looked down at this wrinkled, red, bawling thing uh. and I thought, Is that it? <laughs> we build our world from expectations, and the world that I had built for Callum was no different. Yeah. He was so real, so there, and so far from my expectations. <laughs> they shattered, and as they fell in pieces, that one treacherous thought became a new foundation. All of the love that we shared, all of the warmth and goodness that followed, built on a single traitorous thought. Ooh, don't like that thing. Okay, well, let's start running again. Where are you? I'm here. I can barely hear you, Come dude. Out, sweetie. Constant crashes in 80s music. Guess it floats someone's boat. Where are you? Ah, uh, here we go. Oh, wrong side. Gotta go around this way to find it. Alright, fine. I'll play your game. But, yeah, I guess that's what I'm doing, Come isn't out, it? Sweetie. Mother duck said quack, 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 quack. Examine device? Wait, what? The hell? What? What? I am so confused right now. Why is that one bumper car seem to be on too? Callum? Yeah, that's what I figured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm making my way over there. I just don't want to be right and dire directly in its path in case it turns on and tries to kill me. We gonna play bumper cars? Oh, examine an accident report. Uh, during the transport, bumper car into the arena of one of the. Wraps attaching the load of the truck. Came untied. Caught. I cannot read half this shit. <laughs> Jace! What? What? I am 
so confused right now. Okay, so was this is this like reenacting whatever that report said? I can't read it. I don't know if it's like poor resolution or what, but the game does start off in 1080, but it's a matter of public record that I am a failure as a mother. Okay. Once, when Callum was very small, I left him asleep in the car while I ran an errand. Don't even remember what it was. Not a good idea. When I came back, the sheriff was standing next to the car. Yep. Watching my boy through the window. Don't do that. I didn't like what I saw in his eyes. Judgment. He wrote me the ticket without saying a word. Just the scratch scratch of his pen on the notepad. When he gave it to me, our eyes met. I know what you're going through. My daughter, Helen, she... Just get some help. Help was a bolt of lightning. What? I don't even help get that part. Help was a thousand volts surging through my veins. Help is agony. I'd rather die. I wanted to scream. I'd rather you pulled your gun and shot me. But instead my mouth said, Yes, Sheriff. Okay. Continually delayed by the incompetence of the builders. Two problems. I'm going to... I'll leave this up here. You guys can read this. I don't know what it says. I can't read it. I don't. Maybe I need to get my eyes checked. <laughs> maybe my eye, my glasses are not strong enough anymore. But I cannot read that shit. Okay, we're getting on. That's not what I want to hear. All right, slow it down again. Just keep it slowing down. Just keep it slowing down. Callum, tell mommy where you are. Ride the Ferris wheel. All right, here we go. And there he is again. There's that guy. He's running the the Ferris wheel. Ugh. I actually don't like Ferris wheels. I'm not a fan of heights. I love roller coasters just because people come into your life. Just because it's reason. quick. Dad used to say that before Mom ran off. After that he mostly just drank. Things were different for Don and I. Uh, I couldn't met, imagine this on Oculus. At Susie's diner. He came in with some workers, but he didn't try to flirt or cop a feel like the others. He just ordered a coffee and sat there, watching me. Cool, it's high. When my shift was over, he offered to walk me home. I don't know how to describe that walk. <sighs> we talked and laughed and eventually kissed. Whoa. It felt like love. It felt like a fairy tale. I can't tell you if Callum was made that night or one of the ones that followed. Huh. But I think it has to be that night. That one perfect night. Don and I moved in together, but then, well, Whoa. he died. According to the supervisor, his safety harness failed when he was working on the top of the Ferris wheel. Oh. Don was there one moment, and then gone. Sometimes people leave your life for no reason. I was three months pregnant with Callum. Fairy tale fucking over. Sounds like it. Okay, we still got a little time for something creepy to happen. So is this more like... I don't know. Is this supposed to be kind of like her nightmare of... Her past? There you are. Who are you? Are you like a manifestation of my fear or something? I don't know. But you're like a clown-like creature, and I don't Callum, like that. where did you go? Okay, that direction. But, uh, but yeah, no, heights in general, not a big f fan of. But, uh... 
I don't mind them as long as it's like a quick thing, like like with a uh, stay where you are. Like with a roller coaster. Roller coasters are fine. Did I go? Is it? Yeah, this is the way I want to go. Roller coasters, I can do, cause yeah, it, it's not a super like slow ride like a Ferris wheel, but Ferris wheelers, it just seems like it's just prolonging the agony of heights. Whoa. Oh, is that one of the, is that a Ferris wheel thing that fell off? Yeah. Okay then, can I go under? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, heart, you can calm down now. It's okay. It's all over. It's all over. It's okay. Stop hiding, Callum. Don't say that. Don't, uh, uh, no, no. All right, start, start. Okay, can I? A lot I, of people oh, I can't idolize run. their children. <laughs> you hear them talking about their kids and just the way <sighs> they talk? Their fucking voices make me want to vomit. My angel likes to read, and little Johnny is so good on the piano. Fuck those people! You give up nine months of your life carrying them, you traumatize yourself giving birth to them, and then you spend the rest of your life as their slave. Wiping asses, mopping a piss, feeding them. Little life-sucking monsters who take and take and take until... <sighs> we all go insane. Any parent who pretends otherwise is just dishonest. Okay. That's called choice supportive bias. I am honest. Callum really grinds my gears, and he owes me everything. Everything. It served the little fuck right if I just abandoned him. Okay. Mommy's coming, Callum! Stay where you are! He's not responding. Mommy is coming, Callum! Okay, there's no indication to get on that ride, so I guess we'll keep going. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, which don't way? Be afraid. Which way? This way. I don't like the noises. Where are you, Callum? Oh, wait. Now he's over there. Ugh. Why didn't you make any noise before? I would have liked to have known. Jeez. Where are you, Callum? Yeah, he's over here now. Callum, where did you go? Right here. I always wanted to ride this one. Never got around to do it before. All right, well then let's do it. Let's ride or ride. Ridey ride, bride rider. Let's do it. Jump on in. Roller coaster! Let's get on. I love the idea that, like, maybe to her, she's freaking out want? and she's going insane. We need to talk about Callum. What do you mean? What have you done to him? I? That's insulting. You and your boy are everything that this place doesn't want. The antithesis of what we stand for. Why? Where is Callum? What? Poor child. He tried so hard to do what he was taught. He even left you a trail of breadcrumbs. But the park is just so... What is wrong with your arm? Tell me where my son is. I'm just... Which just... has him now? Has both of you? No happy ending here, I'm afraid. That sounds just, like Mark Hamill. Just leave me alone. Fool. You always were. That sounds like Mark Hamill's Joker. Woo! Okay, maybe not. Never mind. Never mind. I was gonna try to have fun with this. 
Never mind. All that you want something. Gravity. I never saw that movie. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Jays! Not safe. Can taste your dreams. That's nice. Yeah, that was nice. That was a fun ride. Yep, I like that one. Okay, Mark Hamill's Joker. You wanna let me off the ride now, please? Thank you. Okay, then. Yeah, that sounded exactly like Mark Hamill's Joker. Just a little bit, like, creepier, I guess. Callum? Flashlight. Callum! The witch awaits. Flashlight? F for flashlight? Callum! Callum has bruises on his arms, finger marks. Someone has been hurting him. I've asked him, demanded really, to know where he got the marks. But he doesn't want to answer me. Something has scared him into silence. He doesn't dare talk. I don't know what button it is. He's been changing too. Something sinister lurks in the darkness behind his eyes. I catch him staring at me at odd moments. In the night, he tosses and turns and cries out words that I cannot understand. When I try to soothe him, he snaps and bites at my fingers. Jeez. I think he wants to talk to me. I think he wants to tell me. But they are watching him every minute of every day. They are whispering to him in his sleep, changing him. They are taking my baby away from me. I can save him. And there will be pain. But I love him, and in the end, he will understand why. What was that? Oh, I just got closed I'm in. I'm not playing anymore, Callum! Follow the breadcrumbs. Okay. Okay, well that's locked, so I'm guessing I can't leave until I go play a game, right? Is that what I gotta do? Pickled punks. No. Oh, okay. What do I gotta do? What do? What do you want from me? Oh, maybe I gotta read that newspaper. Yeah, that's probably what I gotta do. Ooh, teddy bears. The whole not. town was shocked by that one. Never Cotton candy corpse leaves sour taste in park goers' mouths. Ugh. Oh, I don't... I don't like that. I don't like that at all. I don't like that sound like that there's somebody behind me. And that they are just following me. Ugh. That's creepy. What do you want? What am I supposed to do here? Oh, wait. What's that? Over here? Ah, uh, cotton candy. Ooh. Oh, bastard. Who did this to him? Okay. There's something behind me. <laughs> I can't move backwards. I can't move back. There's something behind me. <laughs> Damn it. It's like layers of fear. Uh, for those... Oh, that's right. You guys... I haven't... Uh, it hasn't come up yet. Damn it. I 
I knew it was gonna happen. I, I backed up, I'm like, yep, there's something right behind me. This pills. The, these are mine. Okay. Why, what? For, for pain, maybe? I don't know. <sighs> Great. Destroy reality. Don't believe anything they tell you. 1980s. Say no to graffiti, your mother. Okay. Oh. Oh, fuck gravity. Right, right, right. What? Jeez! Turn around? Okay. I'll go this way. Towards all of the teddy bears. Okay. Sure. Don't touch me! Callum! Don't leave me here, Callum! Oh boy, this is weird. What is going? Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Okay. Alrighty then. Creepy. Okay, we good to go now? The park is a collage of contradictions. And then we're just of its own. What? Millions of people the dialogue just changes. And, and the park has little cars designed specifically to simulate that action. Here the children scream with joy. In the sideshow alley, we're back at the beginning with 15 cents worth of mass produced Chinese teddy bears while a grinning carny pockets your hard earned five dollars. And what secrets lie beneath the sullen waters of the lake? The tears of jilted lovers, the soiled condoms of illicit affairs, the clotted blood of the lonely suicide, and the face of the witch looms over it all. I always despised a toothy grin and warty nose. I hate that sparkle in her weathered, watchful eyes. I think Callum is waiting for me. Inside. Over there? This isn't a game, Callum! Keep them away from me! Are we going in there? Come back! Mommy, I'm scared! I can help you, Callum. I'm not playing anymore, Callum. In there? Callum? Come back! Where is he? Callum? Callum! We're going in. Oh, okay. Loading. So, all of that stuff may... I don't know if me, me, was I able to actually go in there in the first place? I don't know. I don't know. All right. Oh, well, this looks lovely. Oh, I wouldn't have because I didn't have a flashlight. So now I do, though. Well, this looks lo lovely, just wonderful. Atlantic Island Park has closed its gates. A blank throng of town folk gathered as we hung the heavy iron padlock on the gates. Well, okay. Whatever. You guys can read that. Atlantic Island Park. So I have a... Leave me alone. You son of a bitch. Nice, nice. Okay. 
Okie dokie. Okay. Read any of that? No? Okay, fine. Hi there, buddy. It's not very nice. Not very nice at all. We're okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. It's ju oh, you son of a bitch. Keep moving. Just keep moving. What is that noise? Over here? Sure. Wait, is this the way I came in? I can't tell. This is a dead end. It would appear I have found a dead end. Okay, we're gonna move back now. All right. Where we gotta go here? Maybe I gotta go this way. Don't want to know. Okay. Oh, uh, this is this is just a maze. Just a huge maze. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate that. Bitch. Oh, here we are. Who are you? Why are you doing this? What is the importance of it? I don't understand. I'm so confused. Oh, great. Okay. All right. Okay. Is this our home? I think it is. I think it's supposed to be. After they let me out, they gave me Callum back and sent me notice. home with a handful of breadcrumbs. Oh. <sighs> they had a sweet home. I barely recognized it. Where there had been color and light, there were shadows and regrets. Where there had been warmth, there was a bone-deep coldness that never went away. I tried my hardest to keep the ghosts at bay. Don, watching from the dusty corners while I tried to teach his son to read. My father, coldly assessing me and finding me lacking. I devoted myself to Callum and did the things that they told me. It will get better, they said. Every day will be a little better than the last. I'm in the woods now, lost and afraid. Things never got any better. What have you done with them? Okay. I am so confused by this game. And here we go again. Yeah. Okay, so we got a bit of a uh, PT situation here. Okay, now we're getting teddy bears and dolls in the mix. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna keep moving then. Just gonna keep moving. Can I run? Nope, it's just a walking simulator now. Okay, it's creepy. I don't care, don't care. Just moving on. Is this guy maybe supposed to signify Dawn? Like, I don't get it. Okay, things are getting a little more decrepit now. Things are getting a little destroyed. Getting very PT-esque. Lots of PT- Okay, moving on. <laughs> blood everywhere. Blood, 
Blood, blood. Bloody, bloody, bloody. The door's already open. Huzzah! Maybe that signifies something. Is this the end of it? I don't know. Oh, that's lovely. That's just lovely. Yep. That's lovely. That's what I want to see. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yep, that's awesome. Yep, thank you. Oh. <sighs> oh, this is open now. Hello? <clears throat> okay, I'm gonna keep moving now. Okay. Thanks for that. Okay. Creepy. Oh, brand new. And if that ring should have to, whatever, I don't remember the words, cause I'm scared right now. And through here? Nope. Okay. Okay, not quite as decrepit. Oh, never mind. Blood everywhere. Blood on the walls. Bleeding everywhere. Okay. Everything's gonna be just fine. Let's just keep moving. That music is not helping at all. There is. No, it's not blood. Okay, it's just the shadow. Oop. Check that door. Check this door every time. And something new. Don't know if I feel good about that or not. Stories are told again and again, and from their shape we build our understanding of the world. Two children are led into the woods. They are lost for a time, but then are captured by an old witch. A child goes missing in Atlantic Island Park. He wanders lost for a time before finding his way into the mouth of an old witch. In the oldest version of this story, the mother and the witch were the same person. I never wanted to be the witch. But that's, I am. Aren't I? That's kind of something I was kind of getting to, or getting to, to think was like, is the idea here... Is the idea here the mother is like slowly turning into the witch or what? That's because that's kind of what I've been thinking. Cal? 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 Well, there's that guy. gonna start moving lady lady uh yeah bad bad not good what what the heck who what What? 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 Is that it? Hey, Lorraine. Lorraine. Don't blame yourself. 
yourself, Lorraine. People lose things all the time. Like your sanity. Why? Why? Hey, aren't you the same guy? Take a deep breath and think about the last place you saw your son. In my heart and mind, I always return to Atlantic Island Park. Okay. Okay. Let me see. <laughs> Let me see if I can piece together this. I'm so confused. So, my idea... Because I'm guessing that this... Why is my hair, like, freaking out today? I don't know what's going on with it. But, uh... Okay, so... <laughs> uh, what? So, obviously, it starts off with the Hansel and Gretel story. And... Is the idea that... Over the course of the game, you're supposed to understand that she thinks that she herself is the witch in the Hansel and Gretel story. Maybe it's supposed to be a. Um, I mean, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense, though. Postpartum depression is usually something that takes place immediately after after birth. And I don't know how long it's supposed to last for, but I mean, Callum looked to be. What, maybe five, six years old, maybe older. So it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Is there multiple endings to this? I don't know. I'm so confused. I have no idea. I, I have no clue. No idea whatsoever. Um, maybe if I went on more of the rides that were available. I don't know if there were more available, but... Okay, we'll return to the menu. I don't know. Um, I liked it. I thought it was cool, but I didn't feel like there was enough story there. And it might be my own fault. If, to be fair, it may be my own fault for what's the, what's in the extras here. Secret World is a mass multiplayer online game. Well, it takes place in the modern day setting when the terrifying miss. One of the thing players Secret World have also purchased the park providing unique and get items for use in the Secret World shipment killer outfit. A lot of these teenagers, right? I remember reading about that. The Woodcutter's Talisman's powerful legendary QL. It may also be the fact that I didn't read those things because I couldn't. You can try the Secret World for free for seven days by downloading the trial. Interesting. So this is like a precursor for an online multiplayer game. Interesting. Okay, well, final thoughts on the game. I liked it. I thought it was cool. Uh, I don't... I, and again, this might be my own fault for not exploring enough or not doing enough, uh, but it did not seem to have enough um, narration or enough... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Enough preface uh, for the events and explaining what was going on. I don't understand it. Maybe you guys know better than I do. Maybe you guys have your own interpretation of it. Um, for me, it seemed like kind of long-term postpartum depression or something. Um, and that's my idea, at least, is, is something along those lines or just the overall stress of having to live a life that she lived, you know, having to lose Don. And then whew, the idea of losing her kid and that you know maybe it would just be better if just everything was dead kind of thing including myself and my son and all stuff that's the best kind of interpretation i can come up with but anyway that's gonna do it for this episode so thank you all so much for watching you guys make this channel happen and i thank you very much for that and i will catch you in the next video and have a happy halloween <laughs>